Oh, that's okay. I don't know. The leg is broken. Where to go? On which bus? People with disabilities, mothers with children and old people with pets in their arms. Volunteers have been evacuating residents of Liman and Svetohirsk for more than a week. Fierce fighting has been going on near these towns for several weeks now. All communications are destroyed. There is no electricity and partially gas. People spent days in basements. Yes, we sat in the basements. They hit day and night. And they hit the town and the infrastructure. They hit hospitals and clubs. They hit everything they can. There is no electricity in the city today, right? Everything is missing. Gas, electricity, water. There is nothing. Residents of Liman say that there are almost no intact houses left in the town. Russian troops did not hesitate to strike at the shelters of civilians. We've been evacuating and then decided we must evacuate. Otherwise, we won't stay alive. It is very difficult to carry out a mass evacuation of civilians from Liman. The bridge across the Siversky Donets, which connected the city and settlements near Slovyansk, was destroyed. Therefore, volunteers, the national police and local authorities make a detour. However, the road on which they are traveling is not safe. It is constantly fired upon by the occupiers. Yesterday, one of the evacuation buses literally came under fire. Roman, tell us if the evacuation bus came under fire yesterday. Yes, it was under shelling. No one was hurt, thank God. Everyone is safe. They were just slightly frightened. Well, this is our most important task, to take the people from the point of expert to the destination, so that everyone is safe and sound. Well, some places are hot at the moment. Irina is a resident of Slovyansk. Together with her daughter and little granddaughter, she moved to Svetohirsk in early March. They hid from the shells in the shelters of the Holy Dermission Lavra. In 2014, Irina's family miraculously escaped after shelling of a residential area of Slovyansk by the Russian militants. She says that there is no escape from the war. Even in another city, they again encountered incoming shells. Two months we spent in a basement. During this two months we survived two rocket shellings. Me and my child, my daughter and my granddaughter. This is March 12th and today at 20 minutes to 8 a missile wall is struck near the Lavra. We wish everyone a fast victory and return to their native land. Over the past 24 hours, local authorities, the national police and volunteers have managed to evacuate more than 600 people from Liman alone. Mostly they are women with children and pensioners. Residents of the frontline towns are being transported to safer regions of Ukraine. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Olena Hramova, UATV News.